guys, and welcome back to DeLorean Nation. Uh, today we're going to be talking about keys, uh, key codes and where to find them, uh, the differences between single key and two key cars and when they made those changes. Uh, and if uh, you can come on in, I'll show you the difference in the look of the lock. So this would be a two key car on the first version of cars. They ran this up to VIN 4187. And it's a larger lock with a black center. And then if you pan over to this card right next to me, 4,188 and up would have uh, a single key. So it's a slightly smaller lock and it has a uh, chrome center. Um, and this, basically the door key and the ignition key would match. Uh, so there were four locations where you could, five locations where you could use a key. Obviously the ignition, the left door, the right door. Uh, they have a locking cubby. And then earlier cars also had a locking gas cap. So the ignition key on all cars should work the ignition, obviously the uh, storage compartment and the gas, the locking gas cap. Um, but as of then 4,188, that ignition key would also work both left and right doors, which is kind of completely ahead of its time. I actually own a GM vehicle from 2002 that has a separate key for the door and for the ignition. So back in 81, this was kind of unheard of to have one key that worked uh, the entire car. And they really had to do some production changes to make sure that the key and the doors, the ignition and the doors stay together at all times. So um, let's speak a little bit about key codes. Uh, we'll show you at the end here uh, where key codes can be found on a car. Usually they were written in black Sharpie marker underneath the headliners. So obviously you have to remove this panel uh, in order to see those and we'll show you guys that in a minute. Um, another place people don't realize key codes were, and I'll show you on this car, lucky enough to still have one intact, come on in here. And as part of dealer prep, what they were supposed to do uh, is remove this key code. But if you come up underneath the dash, some cars never got the key codes removed. And there's a yellow sticker under the steering canopy that will have a four digit, the last four digits of the VIN number and a four digit key code. Uh, and this car still has it on there. So kind of neat. It, they're a little hard to read, uh, but you can usually read them. They were written in ink, but after 40 some years, they're hard to read. Um, and this one's obviously faded to more of a tan uh, than really much of a yellow. But uh, it is kind of neat to still have it there. And uh, and that does match the VIN number of this car. So, so I'm gonna come to the showroom and show you a couple interesting ones here. Hey, look, we got CEO LEO. Hi, Leo. Yeah. <laughs> so as we talked about, the last bin was 4187 that had what would be like this car, two keys. This one was just an interesting note. This has been 4183. So literally three cars after this, they quit doing two keys. Um, but I wanted to show you guys this in the showroom. This is kind of what knocks do. Uh, you can convert a two key car to a one key car. So uh, from Texas, you can buy a new lock cylinder that will convert your car from one key, from two keys rather to one key. Uh, you have to make a slight modification in the door. So you see these notches are at three and six. The single key cars, there's a notch at 12. I'm sorry, this is three and nine. There's a notch at 12 and six. So you have to cut a little notch into them. This is what you don't want to do when you're removing the old lock. Whoever did this got abusive on this door and they made dents on both sides. Um, because they must have been pounding to get the clip off in here and they wound up damaging the door But the lock set again, it's available. I think it's like hundred and forty dollars ish and uh, it's a nice little upgrade to, to Convert your car to a single key so everything matches uh, There's one other neat car with some uh, we talked about the, the Writing in the headliner and some cave drawings that I want to show you on one of the shops. And this one's one of my favorites uh, so here's the V would be the VIN, 10487, and if you look down here, the plate, 10487, uh, and then this is your key code. So it's a four digit, it's 7161, so with this code, Texas can also cut you a key. Uh, the X is just going to be on every car, but 7161 is your key code, and then this is a signature of Metal Mickey, who signed quite a few cars, uh, I've seen this on seen this signature on more uh, doors in what we call the cave writings than anyone else. And they put stuff in here, uh, information about when this car was put on the car. So this says like some times on it. Sometimes they'll be dated. We've seen them write little 
uh, caricatures on here. I know uh, Jason found one that was like an Elvis that had a was smoking a cigarette that somebody had drawn in here. One of the cooler ones we've seen. But anyways, this Metal Mickey signature is pretty cool to see. I've seen that one multiple times. I would love to find who Metal Mickey was. If this factory worker is still around, uh, it'd be awesome to get him to sign some stuff. So that's pretty much it for today. That talked about uh, the difference in locks, where to find your key codes, both in the under the door headliners, and possibly check and see if you've got that yellow sticker on your uh, steering canopy. Um, and thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys learned something today. And uh, until next time. <laughs>